One of the most important skills when investing in cryptocurrencies is having a good entry positions. Whenever coins are pumping, I have a lot of people asking me, is this the right time to get in? I want to get into this project now. Is this a good time? However, when the markets are dipping like we are seeing now, people are afraid and I believe this is a great opportunity to get into some good projects and accumulate them. And that's why in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 9 cryptocurrencies to take advantage of during this dip. These projects have solid fundamentals and I believe are presenting a good opportunity if you want some exposure to the market or if you're looking for an opportunity to accumulate some more. Keep in mind that this video is not financial advice but I do think accumulating some of these projects will give you an opportunity for great returns. Okay so the first project on my list is Quant. Quant is solid, it has great fundamentals, you guys know I love Quant and it's a high cap gem. I believe Quant is going to be worth up to $10,000 in the future. So this project is presenting an opportunity to accumulate a high cap gem while having the potential for returns of up to 10 to 100x. So. Quant is a great project, it's regulatory compliant and it bridges the gap between different blockchains. That's why I love Quant, that interoperability. Quant does it so well and in addition to that, it's extremely deflationary, having just 14 million tokens, even less than Bitcoin. The next project I'm going to be looking at is a smart contract project and one of my personal favorite smart contract projects and that's Cardano. The reason why I like Cardano is because of its development activities, you know, they have a lot of GitHub activities and I believe they are able to be innovative and pushing the space forward. Cardano is extremely decentralized, extremely scientific and is also presenting a good opportunity now to accumulate. I believe Cardano has a lot of long-term potential. You know, there has been talks recently of having decentralized voting systems that they can use in elections and this is why I love Cardano. They are innovative and they are always pushing the space forward in terms of development and um, smart contract capabilities. Cardano is a great proof of stake network, you know, is um, has less fees than Ethereum, is faster than Ethereum as it is and yeah, I believe this is a good opportunity to accumulate some if you are intending to get in on this project. I'm also going to cover some low cap gems but I always like to start this kind of videos with high caps. And speaking of smart contract cryptocurrency projects, we've also got Tezos, one of my personal favorites. The reason why I love Tezos is because of the liquid staking and you can also start any passive income with Tezos through baking. What Tezos does is very unique because it's able to carry out updates without necessarily going through a hard fork. I believe Tezos is an extremely undervalued smart contract project is um one of the most amazing parts about it is how participants can get involved with the network's governance through baking it has a very open network is very decentralized i believe tezos is an extremely undervalued smart contract project i believe it has a lot of potential and i also believe this is a good time to pick some more. Tezos launched at a price of about 50 or 25 to 50 cents so it's not even too far from its launch price and I think this project can be as high as Ethereum in market cap especially considering its capabilities. It might also interest you to know that Tezos won um, lawsuits so this project is very solid in terms of that and, and it has a very strong and passionate community as well. So the next project is another one that I really like because it's developer focused and I think this is just you know a lot of altcoins are out there right now that are presenting you great opportunities to get in. This is down 10% and that's Injective Protocol. Injective Protocol is very developer focused and is able to work with different blockchains as well. So Injective is open, it's an interoperable layer one blockchain for building powerful DeFi applications, smart contracts, you know, layer ones, DeFi, these are the things that run the crypto space and the projects that allow you to access this, the projects that give accessibility to interacting with the crypto space would do well in my opinion because they allow adoption of cryptocurrency projects. Uh, we all love crypto, it's all well and good if we love crypto. However, we want adoption, we want more people to come into the space and projects like Injective Protocol make this a possibility. This is a mid cap gem, we're in the mid cap gem category now and it's just sitting at a market cap of $230 million 
excellent tokenomics over 75% or close to 75% in circulation. I believe this is a great project that you can look to get some if you are looking to enter the project, you know, to get some exposure to it. And the next one is a low cap gem that I really like because it's also developer focused and that's Morpheus Labs. Guys, we really want a lot of adoption with crypto and a lot of people are intimidated by crypto so what morpheus labs does is it allows you to easily create and deploy applications it was created by a group of mit graduates so there's a lot of smart minds behind it however those mit graduates when they wanted to enter the crypto space they found out that it was very difficult to start you know interacting with crypto creating smart contracts creating DApps. they decided to make all of it easy and so they created morpheus labs mitx as long as web3 is going to be relevant and we all know that web3 and crypto is tied hand to hand it gives you ownership of your contents on the internet mitx labs has just one simple mission to simplify web3 and that's important whether or not you're a veteran in this space or not is important simplicity is extremely important especially with how fast paced the world is right now so Another good entry position, in my opinion, for Morpheus Labs. Moving on, the next project is another personal favorite of mine, and that's Mask. Mask is a privacy-focused browser that gives you, you know, complete control of your data, gives you security, gives you privacy, so that your data and information isn't leaked on the internet, so you can browse safely and securely. I've made several videos of, on Mask. I'm going to leave uh, some links in the description, so be sure to watch them. And I think this is another great opportunity. This is another great entry position for a project such as this. Sitting at a market cap of 9 million, excellent economics, over 60% in circulation. And this project was developed with no VC funding, so it has been adopted because people are able to recognize how great and wonderful such a project is. The team is extremely active on Twitter, so you can just check them out, you can check out the beta, you can check out how important it is for people to have borderless internet and browsing. And in addition to having borderless internet and browsing, you know, hopping from country to country with the VPN, you can do this with the mask network securely and privately. And I think that makes this project great. It's also got its wallet, it's got um, private decentralized applications and so on. So Mask, great projects. If you've been looking to get into it, now might be a good opportunity. Another project that I always say is a steal whenever it's less than a dollar and is a gaming project is Cidify. I mean, if you like gaming, there can be some games you like, there can be some games you don't like, and there might be some games that you like that others don't like, and vice versa. Well, Cidify gives you access to all these kinds of games, a plethora of different games. So I think Cidify is also a great project that you should look into. If you are bullish in the metaverse, if you are bullish on gaming crypto projects, you would like to get in early on this project. You would like to be able to get in that initial 10 hex. You would like to be able to get that 100x that comes from the hype when a game is launching. Several other, other great game projects, one of the ones I've been covering, the final finance, was launched on CD5. So these projects can go on to do 10 to 50x. Getting in early is always a big deal and CD5 is one of the best IGO platforms, initial game offering platforms for getting in early on these games just holding a few of them and you know the incubate in the incubators and you you have access to some of these great games why i like cdfi is you are able to get into this um disruptive play to end gaming models while being rest assured that the games are actually secured the games are vetted so the not just any project gets listed on cdfi because many people, many scammers, you know, many rock pools exist when gaming projects are being launched. But that's not the case with CD5. And I believe this project has a lot of potential. And I believe it's um, at a good price to get in right now if you're looking to get some exposure. Whenever the next gaming bull run comes, and I believe it would, you know, a lot of people are bullish on gaming in crypto. CD5 is going to be very relevant. The next project is Veracity. I really like Veracity. I've been paying attention to it for quite a while now. It's an interesting project. You know, Veracity is an open ledger ecosystem designed to fight advertising fraud, provide open access to infrastructure. You know, it carries out, gives us all of the control 
and um, security that we like with blockchain and is quite under the radar. It's a very interesting project. I think Veracity is worth putting on your radar. I believe they have a lot of potential. The reason why I've not been so much crazy about Veracity is its tokenomics. It's got just 9% in circulation. So yeah, I've been a bit cautious about it. However, I do see that they have a lot of fans and I believe it's a project at the very least worth considering. So yeah, I think there's a lot of potential in this um, project as well. The ninth and final project actually is Cleantech CTI. This is another project that I really like and it uses artificial intelligence in a very good way. Cleantech is down quite a bit from uh, um, about $0.06 and I think this is another good entry position if you, are, if you feel like you missed um, that initial run up and it has a very low market cap. Guys, this project is just $3 million market cap and for what it's doing, it allows medical trials to be more efficient it allows medical trials to be quicker saving companies cost and money i believe this project has a lot of potential so yeah it's also down quite a bit because of the way the market is behaving and it's also got um great tokenomics in my opinion it's got over 60 percent in circulation fintechs allows doctors to quickly carry out their research without wasting time or money and yeah this project also is a good one in my opinion and i believe it has a lot of potential so if you are thinking about getting into any project i believe now might be a good time to dollar cost average if you are also thinking of increasing your exposure well now might be a good time to buy some of the dip don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching comment down below on any other project or topic you'd like me to cover and i hope to see you next time stay safe and take care